Hello everyone, Gabriel John Coombs here once again, getting back to Let's Play Silent Hill 2 for the PlayStation 2. In the last video, we made our way uh, to the end of Blue Creek Apartments, and we fought off against Pyramid Head. Yeah, good luck getting the cleaning deposit back. On normal and hard mode, it's really hard to fight him. He moves quite quickly, slashes quickly, and he requires a lot of ammunition. In beginner and easy though, as far as I know, all you need to put in is 10 to 20 bullets into Pyramid Head, and then he runs off. And he, and he walks slowly, and he slashes slowly. You have to be careful of that knife, though. That knife is still instant death. Anyway, in this video, we're going to go through part of West South Vale. And, yeah, starting this video, things are going to go way downhill. Go see what I mean. Anyway, let's go. You're seeing something there, James. I got first aid kit. Oh, and a requirement of the go of getting the best ending in the game: don't go back to the uh, apartment complex. Anyway. Yeah, apparently there's more to Laura than we know. We'll learn more about her as the game goes along. But yeah, there's a lot more to her than we know. Anyway, continuing on, there's nothing up the stairs there, don't bother. All you have to do is keep going forward. And we are now in Rosewater Park, I do believe. Indeed we are. Rosewater Park. And the camera's not agreeing with me. So this is that park. Mary, are you here? Nothing to the left or the right yet. Well, actually there is. There's ammunition around that you can pick up. Like you can search around for ammunition if you want. Like that. Nothing in the gazebo. But the main focus is coming right down here. First things first, James is looking at something there. A health drink. Charming. Okay, you see that lady up there? This is... She is the reason why this playthrough is going to go way downhill. I'll explain it after. Mary? No, you're not. Do I look like your girlfriend? No, my late wife. Yeah, 
years ago. But I got a letter from her. She said she was waiting in our special place. And that's here. Anything? I don't see. Is this here? Well, there's the hotel, too, I guess. The one on the lake? I wonder if it's still there. The Lakeview Hotel? Yeah, it's still there. So, the hotel was your special place, huh? I'll bet it was. Don't get so mad. I was just joking. Anyway, it's not that way. It's this way. You're coming with me? You were gonna just leave me? No, but... With all these monsters around? No, I just... I'm all alone here. Everyone else is gone. Baggage claim! Woo! Oh wait, I mean baggage claim! Boo! Yes, the rest of this game, or bits and pieces of it at least, is an escort mission. And, oh, uh, it's gonna be horrible. Uh, it seems I did make a mistake in part one of this playthrough. I accidentally said Lakeside Amusement Park. That's actually a Silent Hill 3 exclusive place. The place that we originally had a lead for was Rosewater Park, where we are now. But we have a new lead, Lake Su or Lakeview Hotel. That's our uh, that's our new lead. Let's see if it's on the map. This circle. This is our lead. This is where we have to go. Anyway. So yeah, baggage claim, yippee. Uh one word of note, don't um don't shoot Maria or it's game over. Another requirement to get the best ending, don't stay close to Maria. The reason why I hate this though is because Maria always gets in the way. Yes, Maria always gets in the way. Even when you need to backtrack, she's in your way. And you just want to run her over. Uh, hi there. If you kill Maria yourself at a banger, or if enemies kill Maria, you get game over. Anyway, I got a health strip. Hi, Maria, you look scared. Keep going. Oh, I forgot to do something in this video. It's Mary. Yippee. All right. Anyway. We have an enemy up there. So anyway, if uh, so, where we need to go is we have to keep going west on Nathan Avenue, and you can actually get a map uh, all the way up here to the Silent Hill Historical Society that tells you where you need to go next. But we can skip that part because I have where we need to go right here. We. Well, we're supposed to go to Pete's Bolorama, but we're going to Texan Gas first, because Texan Gas has a new weapon for us. And Texan Gas is actually where we're going to be ending the video, or at least this video, anyway. So, yeah. I 
I think it's dead. I am switching back to the wooden plank. So I think the wooden plank will help out a bit. Uh, and I think my game just glitched a little bit. Alright. Keep going, Maria. Come on. Uh, Maria, 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 get out of the way. Sorry, Maria, you're in my way. Get out of the way, baggage. Oh my god, I... Uh, I can see why everybody hates this place. Or hates this. Anyway. I got a steel pipe. So yeah, we can switch over to that now. And I want to check something on the map. Okay, we passed the save point. There is a save point at Jackson. I passed Jackson. Oops. All right, we can save here because we're actually at the end of this video. And I'm going to save the game here. It is the end of the video, but I just want to show something that I'm not going to be saving. Town West. Alright. So, before I end off, uh, here's, here's a reason why you don't want to kill Maria. Uh, just in case you don't believe me about the whole, you will get game over for it. Oh, aim right, James. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, yeah, that's the reason why you don't want to uh, want to kill Maria. If you kill Maria, or if enemies kill Maria, except for a mandatory. Maria killing later on in the game. Uh, yeah, you will get game over. Anyway. So, yeah, that's actually where we're going to end it off for now. That death of Maria isn't saved. So when I load the game back up in the next video, um, we'll be right back where we just saved a minute ago. Anyway, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. And in the next video, we will enter... Pete's Bolorama and find out a little more about uh, Eddie and Laura and then that's pretty much it for that video as well so until then this is Gabriel John Coombs and hey We already seen the intro back in part one. We don't need to see it again. Anyway, this is Gabriel John Coombs saying adios, amigos.